Here we have the recipe that we're following and, and look at them, look at them right there, mash, mash, amazing. So here's everything we've got, 250 grams of plain flour, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and then we've got a large pinch of salt, which I'll take from this salt pot, 115 grams of butter, 150 grams of soft light brown sugar. It says one large egg beaten. I've got two small eggs. <laughs> uh, one teaspoon vanilla extract. We'll leave that out. I don't have it. 150 milliliters of fresh sour cream. And then 85 grams of chocolate chips or drops. I've got drops here. And for the chocolate filling, you need 150 grams of plain chocolate. I've got this milk chocolate right here. 115 grams of unsalted butter. And then 150 milliliters of double cream. So there are all of our wonderful ingredients right there. I've got a large bowl and a sieve. And then I've got three baking trays that i've lined so we are so good to go babies right now so it says first of all i need to sift together the plain flour bicarbonate of soda and salt so i'll do that in this smaller bowl here so the plain flour a large pinch of salt which like that <laughs> and a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda i'm just going to sift that into this bowl right here into or out of it? What are you doing, Shasta? <laughs> okay, we've had to move up here for this bit because we need the whisk. So place the butter and sugar in a large bowl and beat with an electric whisk until pale and fluffy. So go in there, butter. Don't be shy. And sugar. you need to lightly beat the egg or eggs in my case then you need to add the beaten egg into the large bowl and whisk it in as well together next we're going to whisk in half of this flour mixture so the flour bicarbonate of soda and uh, what else was in the salt? About half, it looks like about half, don't you think so? Then we're gonna add in the fresh sour cream. Plop it in there. And you guessed it babies, we're gonna whisk that in as well. So next you need to stir in the rest of the flour until it's all well incorporated apparently. And then add in about a half of the chocolate chips or drops and we're going to stir them in as well. Okay, so for the filling, the wonderful whoopie pie filling, you need to melt some butter, the chocolate. <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't be doing that with chocolate. Look how quickly it melted. Um, I don't know if you can see in the camera that it melted rather fast on the cooker. And we're just going to melt this over a pan of hot water, of simmering water. When it's melted, we'll see what we do from there, okay? Don't jump the gun, guys. Once the butter and chocolate has melted, remove the bowl from the heat and cool it, it says, for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it on the side and allow it to cool for about 20 minutes on that. And I'm going to, I think the whoopie pies are ready now. So Not ready, I think they're baked. So I'm going to grab them out of the oven and see what they look like if they're a complete mess. They didn't look too bad. So that's one tray and honestly they're not bad. I was expecting just a flat mess because I thought did want to spread a bit more but yeah firm to the touch lovely brown color here are the other two trays 
This one looks nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna allow these to cool. So transfer the sheets onto a plate or a wire rack. Got one wire rack. The rest I'm gonna have to put into a plate and then just allow them to cool, yay! So I'm just gonna allow them to cool and the chocolate mixture is cooling at the same time. So the chocolate has cooled for about 20 minutes. It's still a bit warm. I'm gonna add in now, according to the instructions, the double cream. Stir in the double cream. Yummy, yummy. Mmm, chocolate, chocolate. That's like uh, Homer from the Simpsons. Donuts. The double cream is stirred in and it's looking absolutely delightful, mashallah. Then it says to put it into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's firm enough to kind of spread it on the whoopie pies. So I am now going to put it in the fridge. Okay, so let's fill up these beauties. Okay, I think I'll just start, I'll put them on this plate once they filled. It's gonna make 10 all together. So what you're meant to do is spread it or pipe it onto the flat side. I hope it's so nice of a whoopie pie and then you're gonna put the other one on top like another one on top so you get like oh <laughs> oh must lick that chocolate off my thumb since it fell when it shouldn't have oh so nice so exciting so uh, i need to remember to only spread it on 10 because obviously 10 are gonna go on top there's a lot of chocolate filling for each one i love i love a lot of chocolate filling go for it baby don't be shy Got a bit extra chocolate spread filling, so I'm just gonna spread it on um, each one. And now a really fun part, we're going to sandwich these uh, whoopie pies. Oh my God, so exciting. Get to plop it on and press it. Enjoy, enjoy, just pure joy. And here are our beautiful whoopie pies. Masha, check them beauties out. Looking good. I'm really impressed with myself. 